In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make Weeping Angel AI. So first thing we're going to do is get a event receiver. We're going to configure it and set it to 30 hertz. Now we're going to get a if chip. We're going to get a bool variable. I'm going to set this to weep. You can name it whatever you want, just make sure it's synced. I'm going to copy it once. The condition of the if is going to the bottom bool variable. I'm going to set this one to true. Now I'm going to set it to false and connect the 30 hertz to the if. I'm going to get a for each and a get all players. I'm going to get a player head forward, forward vector and a player head position. Now I'm going to get a subtract, get a vector three normalize, and a vector three dot. Now I'm going to get a echoes. I'm going to get a greater or equal. I'm going to get a list bool variable. I'm going to get a list add. A list create. And I'm going to remove these inputs. I'm going to get a list all true. Another if. I'm going to get a get closest and a get position. Then I'm going to copy and paste this list bool variable over here. I'm going to get a delay. Copy and paste this player head position. Then copy and paste this subtract. Then we're going to get a vector 3 split and a vector 3 create. Then we're going to copy and paste this vector 3 normalize. Then get a multiply. Then get a vector 3 scale. And I'm going to get an add. And then finally, a set transform. Now we got to hook it all together. He then goes to the for each. Items go to the get goes to the get all players the target for the player head position goes to the item and the target for the player head forward vector goes to the item as well on the 4 e then the vector for the player head forward vector goes to the rhs and the vector from the player head position goes to the bottom value on the subtract the get position is going to the top of the subtract and the difference is going to the value on the vector three normalize. Then the result on the vector three normalize will go to the vector three dot and the result will go to the ACOS. The result on the ACOS will go to the A value on the greater or equal. Now this B value will be the will be how much how close you have to look at the vector component to make it freeze. Let's get our vector comp component and put it right there and we're gonna leave it to the side for now. I'm going to configure the, uh, the vector component and set it to detached. Alright, so the result of our greater or equal go to, will go to the item on the list add, and the list create will go to the input on the list bool variable. Then the output on the list bool variable will go to the target on the list add. The loop on the for each will go to the list add. The done will go to the if, the then will go to the list bool variable, and this else will go to this list bool variable. Then the output on the list bool variable will go to the delay, the run will go to the set transform, and so will the after delay. Now the target for this get position will go to our vector component, and the position on the get position will go to the origin on the get closest, and the get, clo get position We'll go to the bottom of our subtract and the bottom value on our add. Now the closest on the get closest will go to the target on the player head position. The vector will go to the top value of the subtract. The difference will go to our vector 3. And the vector 3 on our vector 3 create will go to our vector 3 normalize. 
Now the x will go to the x and the z will go to the z on the vector 3 split and the vector 3 create. The vector 3 normalized result will go to the value and to the rotation. The result on our vector 3 scale will go to our top value on our add and the sum will be the position. The scalar on our vector 3 scale will be our product on the multiply. And the top value on our multiply will be will go to the delta time on our 30 hertz. Our list on our list create will go to this list pool variable. Our result will go to this condition of the if. And our target on the list all true will come from the output on this list pool variable. We're going to get the output of the result of the vector 3 normalized and put it to the value of our vector 3 scale. Our target on the set transform will be our vector component. I'm going to set this multiply to 3. And our targets on our get closest will be from the get all players. Then I'm going to execute the true value on my bool variable. Now you can see everything is running through. And when I look at my vector component, you can see it's frozen. I'm going to back up and look away. And look back. You can see it starts chasing me. I'm going to back up some more. Look away. It gets closer. And it only moves when you look away. You can see it moving in the mirror as well. But that is how you easily make a Weeping Angel AI. I hope this tutorial helped you a lot. And if you would like to see more tutorials on how to make AI, go check my channel out. The link in the description is for my creative club. So if you would like to see a lot more tutorials and events, go click that link and join our Discord. I'll see you guys next time.